Hello everyone, welcome to TATR 4K Live Safari Experience at Tadoba Andari Tiger Reserve. We are back again but in a different part of the park today. Sarvana Sarvartan Namaskar, Majinawai, HG Chahande, Forest Guard, Ata Aplela, Ya Sirkara, Sirkara Bapar Madun, Safari Karache. We will be entering from one of the newest gates of Tadoba called the Sirkada Gate. This gate was opened on the 1st of March 2019 and is one of the finest places to see some migrant bird species arriving at Tadoba. So now we are heading towards the closest water body from the gate. It's called as Neep Talab. We are taking a look around to spot some of the birds. At a distance we can see a few birds. Let's go closer and have a look at it. Here, we have spotted the first bird on our safari. It's the Indian spotbill duck. It's a non-migratory duck found throughout the freshwater wetlands in the Indian subcontinent. Its name comes from the red spots at the base of their yellow-tipped black bills, which the females of this species lack. These ducks are dabbling ducks, meaning that they do not dive but instead stick their heads underwater with their tails in the air to forage. Often seen in small groups dabbling or tipping up in shallow water or walking on marshy land at the edge of freshwater lakes or in cultivated fields. They also graze on dry land for their food. They eat seeds, snails, grasses and aquatic plants. Here you see a lone stalk called the painted stalk foraging with a wedge of ibises. It's an adult painted stalk. As you see, it has yellow-orange mask and pinkish legs. They are winter visitors in Tadoba, but due to the unseasonal rains, this individual has not migrated back. They are often seen near shallow water bodies such as wetlands, marshes and flooded agricultural fields looking for crabs, amphibians and fishes. As you see the foraging behavior, the individual inserts its partially open bill in the water, eyes above the watermark and walks forward. Since the water in which the birds forage is muddy or hazy, the birds cannot see their prey clearly, so they move the bill from side to side and foot stirring. So that when they do the foot stirring, the concealed fishes come out and it helps the stock to catch the fish.
we are heading towards an artificial water body called the Moa Jora, which is also called as water body number 227. And we don't see much activity here. So let's just head further to another water body called as the Cage of Tala. We are now arriving at the cage of Talab. This is one of the largest water body here. Looks like there's a lot of birds activity here. Let's take a closer look. The pigeon-like bird what you see is the yellow-footed green pigeon. It's a resident bird of Tadoba. It is also the state bird of Maharashtra and is locally known as Harir in Marathi. They are very social birds and found in flocks up to 20 individuals. They are frugivorous, they majorly feed on fruits such as figs, jamun. Often you see huge flocks on heavily fruiting trees. They play a very vital role in the ecosystem by dispersing seeds of important forestry such as the fig tree. The color of the green pigeon is because of the carotenoid pigment in their diet of fruits. Since it closely resembles leaves in color, it is easy for an entire flock to be on a tree without anyone noticing. The time you notice them is when they take off together. We are taking this wonderful stretch to reach a water body number 234 which is also called Jaran and the foresters have told that there is a frequent activity of a male tiger in the vicinity. Looks like the golden oriole is drying himself after a morning dip. We have reached the evergreen patch surrounded by tall trees. We can hear cicadas and see some dragonflies flying around. Let's take a closer look at the dragonfly perch there. So 
So this is a common club tail dragonfly. It has a very distinctive club shaped tail. They are usually black and yellow in color. This dragonfly can be found near streams and rivers. These dragonflies mainly feed on aquatic insects, but looks like this guy is feeding on a red ant. The loud buzzing noise that is heard here is the song of a large winged insect called cicada. The sound is produced exclusively by males who sing to attract female partners. They use specialized structures called as timbals on each side of their abdomen to produce their characteristic sounds. Cicadas repeat the movement of timbals 300 to 400 times per second to be able to produce their characteristic sound. When the young cicada nymphs hatch from their eggs, they dig themselves into the ground to suck the liquid of plant roots. It is only when they are ready to metamorphose into an adult they emerge from the ground. They also urinate to cool themselves. They might in some cases even use it to keep ants from attacking. They come out in mid of summer and sing in the hot summer afternoons. Tree sap is the principal food of cicadas. They take the necessary nourishment and water from the sap. Cicadas are the only insects capable of producing such a unique and loud sound. Some larger species can produce a call in excess of 120 decibels at close range. We are now approaching the water body number 266, which is also called as Pantrabani. The water body looks so alive when you see a lot of bird activities. Here you see a flock of lesser whistling teals and a pair of gargany teals. The one with the blackish brown top portion is the gargany teal and the chestnut brown duck is the lesser whistling teal. The Gargany teal is a winter visitor to Taroga and majorly breeds in Europe. Whereas the, the lesser whistling teal is a resident bird and you find them throughout the year. Both these teals prefer shallow marshes, ponds and lakes. Both these teals majorly feed on frogs, small fish, grass and other aquatic plants. Did you know, in ducks the male is called as drake, the females are called as hens and the young ones are called as ducklings. We are now heading towards a water body called Konpaten. We can see a herd of gods crossing the road. Let's stop the car.
Animals have the right to cross the road. It is our prime responsibility to drive slow and also to keep a safe distance from animals during safaris. We have a gigantic tree right in front of us. It's called as Arjun tree, Terminalia arjuna. This tree is approximately around 60 to 80 feet. The bees prefer to build hives on Arjun tree because they grow very tall. These claw marks that you see are of a sloth bear which has climbed the tree to feast on the nutritious bee larvae. On the way to the water body, we have encountered a herd of spotted deer. We have now arrived at the Kohl Patel water body. You can see this water body is completely full. But last year, at the same time, the whole of this water body was barren. We can see a lot of bug marks scattered near the water body. It is definitely a very good sign that the tigers come here often.
A troop of langurs are getting down from the tree. It looks like the langurs are approaching the water. The langurs have come here to quench the thirst. While the langurs are drinking water, we also have a herd of sambar cautiously approaching the water body. At a distance, we hear the distress call of a spotted deer, but the sambar doesn't seem to be bothered. After the spotted deer calls, we are now hearing distress call of a sambar. This might be from the sambars that drank water a couple of minutes back. Well, look what we have here. A young sub-adult male. This tiger tried to hunt a mongoose, but the lucky mongoose had another day to live. You can see this tiger gracefully taking a dip in the water on a hot summer morning. He's slowly walking in the water, cooling himself down.
It is such a delightful sight to see this magnificent animal. Tiger has come out of the water. And he has decided to leave. It is also time for us to leave and go out of the park. We have had a great safari. We have seen a few stunning birds, insects and also the majestic tiger. We will see you tomorrow at the same time. Until then, goodbye. I safari आणि सफारी करत असताना सर्व वाटर होल चेक केला आणि चेक करत असताना सर्व प्राणी पाहायला मिळाले सर्व पक्षी पाहायला मिळाले खूप छान वाटलं आणि हा व्हिडिओ पाहत असताना तुम्हाला पण छान वाटेल नक्की तुम्ही पहा टीएटीएफ 4 के लाइव व्हिडिओ के लिए लाइक कीजिए शेअर कीजिए और सबस्क्राइब कीजिए ओके धन्यवाद